7th January 2023 Morning Murli Om Shanti Bhaktada Madhupan Sweet children, you have received knowledge of the Father's divine activity and of the beginning, the middle and the end of the drama from the Father. You know that this drama is now coming to an end and that you are to return home. Question, which rules do you have to obey in order to register yourselves with the Father? Answer, in order to register yourselves with the Father, sacrifice yourselves completely to the Father. Second point, use everything you have in a worthwhile way for the service of making Bharat into heaven. Third one, make a vow to become completely wiseless and give the proof of that by living in that way practically. The names of such children are registered in the register of the almighty government. They have the intoxication that they are making Bharat into heaven, that is, into the lands of kings. We are sacrificing ourselves to the Father for the service of Bharat. Song Salutations to Shiv Om Shanti The one who is praised in the song is the one who sits here and sings praise of his creation. This is also called a wonderful play. A play is called a game. Virtuous ones are praised and so the praise of that one is unique. However, people don't understand this. Your children understand that the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul is one who is prayed so much. You also understand that his birthday, that the Shiv Jayanti is coming soon. The song is very good for Shiv Jayanti as well as knowing his praise. Your children also know his divine activity. This is definitely a play as well as the drama. It is also called a play. The father says my divine activities are even more unique than those of the deities. Everyone's activity is distinct. Just as the status of the president is different from that of a minister in a government. If God were omnipresent, everyone's act would be the same. It is because of saying that God is omnipresent that they have been starving. Human beings neither know the Father nor the Father's infinite praise. Until they recognize the Father, they cannot understand His creation. You children now understand about creation. The Brahma element, the subtle region and the cycle of the human world can tend to turn around in your intellects. This is a play. That is, it is the knowledge of the beginning, the middle and the end of creation. At this time, people of the world have become atheists. They don't understand anything at all and simply tell lies. Holy men continue to hold conferences, etc. But the poor things don't know that the play is now about to end. However, because the play is about to end, they are now being touched by something. Everyone now says that they want the kingdom of Ram. When the Christians rule here, they didn't say that there should be a new Bharat. There is now a lot of sorrow. Everyone now calls out, Oh God, free us from sorrow. There must definitely be a great deal of sorrow at the end of the Iron Age. Day by day, sorrow continues to increase. They think that everyone will start ruling their own kingdom. However, no one knows that destruction has to take place. Your children should stay in great happiness. You can tell anyone that 
the unlimited father creates heaven and so his children have to receive the kingdom of heaven the people of bharat especially remember this they perform devotion in order to meet god they want to go to the land of krishna which is known as heaven but they don't understand that the kingdom of krishna on the exist and the golden age this iron age is now coming to an end the golden age where there will be the kingdom of krishna is to come everyone knows that all are the children of shiv the supreme father the supreme soul therefore god must have created a new world he must definitely have created it through the mouth of brahma the mouth of creation must definitely have been the jewels of the brahman clan and that period must have been the confluence age the confluence age is the benevolent age when god would have sat and taught you raj yoga we are now the mouth of creation of brahma and brahmans in spite of this you ask how can we accept that god enters the body of brahma and teaches raj yoga became the mouth of creation of brahma study this raj yoga and you will automatically experience this there is no question of make belief or blind faith in this there is blind faith throughout the whole world in general and in bharat in particular where there is a great deal of worshiping of dolls means idols bharat is known as the land of idols brahma is portrayed with so many arms now how can that be possible yes brahma has many children vishnu is portrayed with four arms two arms of lakshmi and two of narayan brahma must have so many children supposing he had 4 million children it would mean that he has 8 million arms in fact it is not like that but people definitely are needed this is also fixed in the drama the father comes and explains all of that's aspects people don't understand what is eventually going to heaven they can't to make various plans here baba only has one plan for your children and that kingdom is now being established the more effort you make to make others similar to yourselves the higher the status you will claim the father is called the knowledgeful blissful and merciful one he says i also have a part in the drama maya has no mercy for anyone i have to come and have mercy for everyone i teach you children raj yoga i also explain the secrets of the world cycle i the knowledgeful one am called the ocean of knowledge you children know this and so you can explain it to others here there is no question of blind faith we believe in the incorporeal supreme father the supreme soul firstly you should praise him he comes and creates heaven through raj yoga then you should praise the restaurants of heaven when bharat was heaven all were full of divine virtues 16 celestial degrees full it is a question of 5000 years the praise of the supreme soul is the most unique then there is the praise of the deities there is no question of blind faith in this here all are children they are not followers this is a family we are the family of god originally we souls are the children of the supreme father the supreme soul and so we are a family first we are incorporeal and then we became corporeal at this time this is the most wonderful family there is no question of doubt and thus all are the children of shiv the children of prajapta brahma are also remembered you are brahma kumars and kumaris the new world is being established the old world is in front of you first you have to give the father's introduction without becoming the brahma's clan 
you cannot receive the inheritance from the father brahma didn't have this knowledge shri baba is the ocean of knowledge we claim our inheritance from him we are his mouth point creation you are all studying raj yoga shri baba is the one who teaches us all he enters this body of brahma and teaches us when prajapita brahma who is corporeal becomes complete he becomes an angel it is the residents of the subtle region who are called angels there there is no flesh or bones some children have visions of that the father says on the path of devotion you receive temporary happiness from me i am the only bestower and this is why everyone surrenders in the name of god the belief that it is god who gives them the fruit of their devotion they never mention the name of a sage or holy man etc only the father is the one who bestows he may make someone else an instrument in order to bestow something in this way he increases the praise of that one all of that is only temporary happiness this is infinite happiness when new children come they understand that they must explain this knowledge to those whose directions they used to follow at this time everyone is following the dictates of maya whereas here you receive god's directions the directions last for a half a cycle because the reward you receive lasts throughout the golden and silver ages there there are no wrong directions because maya doesn't exist there wrong directions begin afterwards maya is now making a similar to himself seers of the three aspects of time means trikal darshi and the masters of the three worlds means trilokina we became the masters of the element of light means brahman and then we also became the masters of the world the father has given the children even higher praise than his own have you ever met such a father who makes effort for the children of the whole world and who would even make them cleverer than himself he says i give you children the kingdom of the world i do not experience that however i do keep the key to divine vision in my hand it becomes useful for me on the path of devotion to even now i give souls vision of brahma i tell them to go to this brahma and study raj yoga and become future prince many people receive these visions all princes wear a crown but children don't understand whether they have had a vision of a sun dynasty prince or a moon dynasty prince those who became the father's children will definitely become prince and princesses whether it is at the beginning or later on if your efforts are good you will belong to the sun dynasty otherwise to the moon dynasty don't become happy simply on seeing a prince all of this depends on your efforts bab explains everything very clearly there is no question of blind faith and thus this is god's family however in relation to this all are the children of god but they are in the iron age whereas you are at the confluence age whoever you go to tell them we are the clan of shiv the mouth point creation of brahma and only brahmins are the ones who can claim the inheritance of heaven you have to make effort to explain this very clearly to everyone when you explain to 100 to 150 only one will emerge from them it is only a few after multi millions who have the fortune to emerge it takes time to make others equal to yourself the voices of wealthy ones carry more weight when you go to ministers they ask do other ministers come to you when you say yes they do they say okay i will also come the father says i am absolutely ordinary 
and so scarcely any wealthy ones come. They definitely will come, but only at the end. Your children should have a great deal of intoxication. You have to explain to them that we are serving Bharat with our minds, bodies and wealth. You have sacrificed yourselves in order to serve Bharat. No one else and such a philanthropist. Those people collect money and construct buildings. At the end, everything will turn to dust. You have to sacrifice everything to Baba. You have to use everything in order to serve Bharat, to change it into heaven. You then become those who claim the inheritance. You have the intoxication that you are the children of the Almighty Authority, that you are the register with Him. It takes a lot of effort to register with Baba. When you promise to become completely wiseless and then prove it, Baba then registers you. Your children should be so intoxicated that you are changing Bharat into heaven, that you are making it into the lands of kings, means Rajasthan. You will then rule there. Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost, and now found children. Love, remembrance, and good morning from the mother, the father, Baptada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children says Namaste and good morning to the spiritual father. Essence for the dhatna. First point You are the children of God, the family of the one God. You are now receiving God's directions. Stay in the spiritual intoxication. Don't follow wrong directions. Second point. In order to serve Bharat, sacrifice yourselves completely like the father Brahma. Use your body, mind and wealth in a worthwhile way to change Bharat into heaven. Become a complete philanthropist. Blessing. May you remain constantly self under the canopy of God's love and thereby be free from any waves of sorrow. Explanation A lotus stays on top of muddy water and yet remains detached. It is just as much detached as it is lovely. In the same way, your children have become detached from the world of sorrow and are loved by the Father. So, this godly love becomes a canopy of protection. What can anyone do to those who have God's canopy over them? Therefore, maintain your spiritual intoxication of constantly staying under the God's canopy of protection and no waves of sorrow will even be able to touch you. Slogan those who glorify the names of Bab Dada and the Brahmin clan with their elevated characters are lambs of the clan. Om Shanti